In response to the rapidly evolving situation, we will be flexible and collaborative in exploring ways to continue to support student learning and provide some sources to study. Hello and welcome, our dear primary four students. This is our first session for our e-learning sessions. Today, we are going to discuss Superland Module 7. Hello. So let's start with Module 7. Here, Module 7 is titled with, who can read the title for me, please? Yes, it's Health and Fitness. So, can you guess with me, please? So, what we are going to talk about in this module? Yes, here we are going to talk about our body, maybe, kinds of sports, yes, how to be healthy, and being in a good shape yes good answers thanks but before we go on let's watch a video about this module and please try to find the answer of what's your favorite sport and where can you practice it module 7 health and fitness what's your favorite sport let's take a look at some outdoor and indoor sporting activities Nicola is learning to play badminton badminton is played on a badminton court in badminton players hit the shuttlecock with a racket Mariana is a gymnast she does gymnastics. Here you can see her practicing on the gymnastic horse. Mike is a football player. He plays for the Redford Robins. In football, the players try to shoot the ball into a goal. And Gary likes snooker. He's very skillful at guiding the colored balls into the corner pockets. Snooker's played in a snooker hall. Okay, let's repeat the question again. What's your favorite sport and where can you practice it? Mm, yes, a good answer. Here we have an answer said, my favorite sport is tennis and I can practice it at the tennis court. Thanks. So let's move again to our module page. Now, listen and repeat what are the other sports here in these pictures and which verb can we use for each of them. Let's listen and try to identify each of them. Rock climbing. Gymnastics. Tennis, Judo, Snowboarding, Skydiving, Baseball, Kayaking, Motocross. Yes, so for me I like to play tennis, as I said. But here we have other verbs that we can use for expressing, practicing each of them. As we have here, go, play, and do. We can use these verbs to express practicing other kinds of sports. As we have here, verb go can be used with ing activities like we have go skydiving and go snowboarding for verb play we can use play for the ball games like we have play tennis or play baseball for other games or individual ones 
We can use verb do, like we can use it. Do gymnastics, do do, and do motor cross. Okay, let's move for next exercise. Here we have some equipment used for playing these activities. We are going to match the words to the numbers. Listen and check. What are these words and what can we use to play each of them? Here we have number one. Helmet as we use it for go rock climbing. We have two minutes to match the other equipment. Go on. Okay, time is up. The question again. Let's match the words to the numbers. Here, we have said that in number one, we use the helmet when we go rock climbing. Who can do number two? Yes, that's right. Number two here is... Rope. Nice answer. What about number three? Number three is ball. Yes, of course we use the ball while we are playing tennis. What about number four here? When you play tennis, you have to use a Bracket. Good answer. Here. When we go snowboarding. When we go snowboarding, we should use. Yes. Snowboard. Here, when someone goes skydiving, he should have good answer, goggles. Here, they are playing baseball, yes. So, the man here is wearing good is wearing knee pads to protect his knee of course and in number eight you should use yeah a bat he's using a bat to hit the ball nice answer yes number nine while someone goes Kayaking here. He should use a battle. No, nice one. And good answers. It at the end, yes. While you do motocross, you should use or you should wear gloves. Nice one. Again. Here we have our words for today and activities. Let's listen for them for another time. Ball, baseball, bat, gloves, goggles, gymnastics, helmet, judo, kayaking, knee pads, motocross.
paddle, rock climbing, rope, skydiving, snowboard, snowboarding. Yes. So, for the definition or for more facts, we have them in the sheet, of course, in our word list for module 7. And now, let's move to Unit 7A, which entitled with, yes, good, sports. What comes to your mind when you read the word sports? Yeah, sports, activities may be good one. What other answers do you have? teams, competitions, good one, contests, great, good guess, thanks. So here let's start here, what is it? Can you tell me here, what is it? What can you see here? Yes. I think that is a blog. Good one. So what a blog is? To be a famous blogger maybe. What is that for you? Yeah, good answer. A blog is an online website that we can use for talking about our diaries, our daily activities and our daily routines maybe yes so it is kind of social media maybe thanks so let's here read number one look at the text and the pictures here what do you think you're going to read about you have one minute to tell me what is it about try to guess what he, what is he going to tell us about in his blog for today Time is up. Okay, yes. The question again. What is today's blog about? What do you think you are going to read? Yeah, good answer, yes. Maybe it's going to talk about travels from the title here. Is about Craig's travel. Yes, another answer. Yeah, about some sports what kinds of sports maybe normal ones yeah good one good answer about unusual one we have here the word weird which expresses something unusual for us good answer now before we read the text let's read those pre-reading questions and try to find the answers from the text question number one can you read it for me please yes how long has the frog jumping contest taken place question number two where can you see a camel wrestling you have three minutes to read the text and try to find these answers. Go ahead.
Okay, time is up. Let's read the question again. Number one. How long has the frog jumping contest taken place? Number two. Where can you see a camel wrestling? Let's go back to the text. Yes, who can find the answer for question number one? Yes, here. Good answer, yes. The frog jumping contest has taken place since 1928. Again, can you tell me the answer again? Yes. The frog jumping contest has taken place since 1928. What about the, the second question here? Yeah, question number two. Who can remind me with this question? Yeah, where can you see a camel wrestling? Yes, good answer. You can see a camel wrestling especially in Turkey. Good one. Good answer. Now, let's move to exercise number two. So let's read. Explain the words in bold. Use these words in the list to complete the sentences. Run into. Break the record. Inspired. You have one minute to complete the sentence here from the text with these words. Okay, time is up. Let's read number one. Yeah. Who can answer it for me, please? Yeah, number one. Okay. A book dots people in Calaveras to start frog jumping contest. Yeah. So, what is the answer here? Yes, good answer here. A book inspired. Good one. Thanks. Let's move to number two. Okay, number two. Frogs try to dots set in 1986. Yes. Frogs try to break the record. So I think number three is quite easy now to be answered. So camels sometimes run into the people here who watch the competition. Yes, camels sometimes run into the people who watch the competition. Let's move to question number three. Who can read the questions for me, please? Number one. Which things impressed you from the text? Number two, which contest would you like to watch and why? You have one minute to think about these answers and try to tell me the answer. Okay, time is up. Let's read question number one again. Which things impressed you from the text? Who can tell me the answer, please? Yes. Yeah, for me, I was impressed by the fact that people actually raise frogs and that an event like camel wrestling exists. 
Yeah, let's move to question number two. Read it please again. Which contest would you like to watch and why? Yes, the answer is I'd like to go and see camel wrestling because I think it would be a unique experience. Yeah, a unique experience. Of course, it would be a nice thing to watch. So let's move here to our new vocab. Let's listen. Accident. Already. Camel. Champion. Club. Comedy. Compete. Contest. Ever. Finalist. First place. Following. Frog. Bunny. Inspire. Junior. Luckily. Medals. Professional. Promise. Record. Represent. Since. So far. Team. Travels. Trophy. Twice. Weird. Wrestling. Okay. So let's listen them again and again and practice them at home. And for the definition and more sentences, you can go back to our sheet in the word list for Unit 7A. So now we have just finished talking about reading. So now let's start talking about our new structure for this module, which is who can read the title here? Yes, good one. The present perfect tense. So before we talk about present perfect, let's watch this video and try to answer the question of how can we use it? Or why do we use the present perfect tense? Let's watch. The present perfect is unfinished time. Unfinished time is a connection between the past and the present. I have visited Egypt twice. What is the connection between the past and the present? All past experiences in your life exist with you today in the present. I have lived in Rome for three years. What is the connection between the past and the present here? You moved to Rome three years ago in the past and you still live there now in the present. I have lost my phone. What is the connection between the past and the present here? You lost your phone in the past, so now in the present, you don't have it. The present perfect is unfinished time. And unfinished time is a connection between the past and the present. Brown cow! Okay, thank you very much. And let's ask the question again. Why do we use the present perfect? Yes, good answer. We use the present perfect to connect the past with the present. Yes, as we watched here in the video, he said that he has lost his iPhone. Yes, he has lost his iPhone, so it means that he lost his phone and he's still losing his phone. He didn't find it. Good answer here. So the present perfect tense is a bridge between the past and the present. Something started in the past and is still going in the present and talking about unfinished time things which happened and is still ongoing yes so let's practice another example here the autumn has already arrived it means that we have the autumn here it's still ongoing here the action is still ongoing 
other examples here for present perfect yes let's read together I have seen the film before or she has seen the film before it means that she has an experience of watching that film and she can still watching it yeah so we use it here using have or has plus the past participle form of the verb as we can watch it here have seen the film before was I and she has because we started the sentence with she good answer here so when we use it as interrogative for we use it here who can read the sentence yes have you seen the film before have you seen it yeah yeah I can hear you yes I have seen the film or no I haven't seen it yes the answer is good no I haven't seen that film before yeah who can turn it with she yes as you can watch it here has she seen the film yes she has seen the film or no she hasn't seen the film before yes so when we can we can use the negative form of the present perfect simply by adding not to have or has as we can see here they haven't seen the film before he hasn't seen the film before who can give me more sentence using not here for the present perfect tense yes yeah another example yeah good one I have lived in Rome for three years yeah you got it you got this word from the from the video here I have lived in Rome for three years so who can tell me the meaning of this sentence yes does it mean that he lived there and moved away or he's still living there yeah he has lived in Rome for three years it means that he moved to Rome three years ago and he's still living there good answer thank you very much so let's talk about why do we use the present perfect we use the present perfect for talking about recent events as we use it to describe recent events without a definite time the idea in the speaker's mind makes you just recent a time expression that may emphasize recentness is just as we said before we have just finished reading she has just won a prize here so she is really happy we have just answered the question so we relaxed now so when we use the present perfect for talking about recent events we use just as we can say yeah I have just arrived I'm so tired my dad has just come let's meet him good answers number two we use the present perfect tense for talking about personal experiences as we use it to express personal experience there is no definite time given we cannot use any definite time given in the sentence with the present perfect the time expressions used here is ever or never are very often used to give that meaning as we said I have never been to Japan before I have never been to Japan I cannot use any definite time have you ever been there think of it and tell me your answer number three present perfect tense is used to express action that started in the past and continue to the present the time period is not finished as we talked before we use it with unfinished time we use it for and since with that meaning as we can here use I haven't eaten since yesterday morning I'm really hungry I haven't drunk anything for two days oh I'm thirsty can you give me more examples about that 
Yeah, try to give me. For me, I can give you more example now. Yes. I have played football since 1999. I'm a professional player now. <laughs> so, let's hear, read these examples and to try to figure out the, the difference in meaning. Ahmed has bought a new car. He bought it last week. When we use present perfect with has bought a new car, we use it to express that it is a recent action. Ahmed has recently bought a new car. Have you met Rami? Yes, I have met him. My parents have been to India. Has anybody found me? I have seen this man before. I have an experience with him. So, have you ever listened to classical music before? Try to find the answer and tell me. So let's move back to our book here. We use the present perfect for actions which started in the past and continue until now. As we use it here, can you see it? Yes, here. Have seen, has taken place, has beaten, have you ever heard, have watched, has happened. And we can use it with already for, just, yet, ever, never, and so on. And we have and we have have or has plus the past participle of the verb as we can see here have played I have played well he has won the race they haven't tried sur surfing he hasn't finished yet have they won has it played tennis so have or has should be followed by the past participle of the verb and for sure that you know we have regular verbs and irregular verbs like we have here regular ones like watched happened and the regular ones like seen taken beaten heard and for more other irregular verbs go back to our sheet in the irregular verb table you can find there a lot and a lot from our verbs. Thanks.